Well, most of us spend at least eight hours at work each day, likely the most amount of time you spend doing anything, even sleeping. So joining us now to look at the endless workplace studies, including his own study, is Chicago Tribune columnist Rex Hupke. Hi, Rex. Hey, how's it going? All right, so Rex, uh, what did you find out? And most importantly, I'm looking at your own study here. And is it really yes. true that employees' uh, workplace efficiency increases when they are given a chair made of chocolate? <laughs> yes, that was, uh, that was based on uh, an interview with one person, which was myself. And uh, so the, uh, uh, I'm not sure what the uh, uh, margin of error is, but it can't be that bad, I guess. So I, uh, <laughs> I think we should all have chocolate chairs. The, uh, <laughs> no, but what sparked all this actually is I, I get inundated uh, every day with, with press releases about uh, new studies that have come out ranging from everything from like academic work, much of which is very valid and can be interesting, to just really ridiculous stuff, like a pet company uh, that's done a survey about how good it is to bring your pet to work or that sort of thing. So I, I wanted to look into this because it seemed to me like, well, maybe are we overanalyzing the workplace? Are we, you know, is it being studied so much that nobody's going to listen? Uh, and uh, as I started talking to people, actually, kind of came around to, to not being quite as negative as I, <laughs> as I had originally planned on being. Uh, the, uh, uh, the, the point that people brought up, which is actually interesting when you stop and think about it, is it's actually, perhaps it's a good thing. The workplace is being studied so much because there's a much greater concern now for how we live and exist in the workplace as compared to, you know, maybe 40, 50 or more years ago when the only real attention anybody paid to it uh, in terms of studying the workplace was how can we squeeze more work out of people. Yeah. We just have to make sure the bosses are seeing these studies and that they uh, react <laughs> positively to them. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. Well, and they do need to also, uh, one of the things that uh, one of the folks I spoke with warned against is y you do want to, you want to pay attention to all these studies. At the same time, you want to avoid just jumping on the bandwagon. So you see a study and you say, oh, wow, we better do something about that. And then you kind of just charge forward without really investigating it. Um, for example, one of the examples of the uh, woman that I spoke with, uh, who's a professor at uh, North, uh, in the Kellogg uh, School of Management at Northwestern, she said, you know, like if there's a study that shows that there are, you know, a very small percentage of uh, female CEOs in corporate America, the gut reaction might be for companies to say, well, we need to hire more women. Well, it's actually more involved than that. I mean, yes, you need to hire more women, but you also need to look at your own policies and what are preventing women from advancing, that sort of thing. So, you know, it's more nuanced than just uh, kind of gut reactions to some of these studies. All right, all studies aside, what's the bottom line? You gotta find a job you love, right? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, that's really what's what's key, and that's uh, you know, all of the other thing becomes things become window dressing. Really, I mean, if, if if the thing that you are doing is fulfilling for you, and you feel good about it, you're going to enjoy your day, <laughs> and that's going to make the rest of your life happy as well. So, uh, since it's such a big chunk of the day anyway. All right, Rex. Okay, we love your studies, by the way. <laughs> no thanks. I'll keep going on them. <laughs> and for you to ask a workplace question anonymously or by name, you can email Rex. Uh, at I just work here, rather at I just work here at Tribune.com. Want to get that right? I just work here at Tribune.com, and you can read all of Rex's columns at Chicago Tribune/I just work here. Thanks so much, Rex.